Hey everyone, welcome back to TWT. Okay, so this is like my first tea video. Um, I think I updated it before. It was like a long time ago. So this is the first one I posted. Um, <clears throat> I did post a few videos a few days ago and I took them out just because, <laughs> no. If you saw them, then you know what happened. You know what those videos were about. And if you didn't, good. You didn't need to see them. Um, I did talk about tea um, in my channel, especially the about page. And I'm gonna do that now since I love tea, especially the green tea. That's what I drink, that's all I drink. And um, there's some things that I wanted to talk to you about. So I might as well just do it. Um, yeah, it's like 7.25 right now. It's really early, um, but I have thought about it. And I figured, you know what, I might as well just do it and get it done, okay? So I really don't know what's going to happen, but this is my first time doing this, so we'll see what happens, okay? So you'll notice that there's a Yeti uh, cup here. That's what I use. I use this for everything. I love this cup. Um, it's made of metal, and it has a lid, so you can put cold and hot water in this container. You can drop it, and it's not going to break. Um, you could probably break the lid, but you could replace it. So that's what I did, actually. I dropped my cup, this cup, <laughs> the same one, and nothing happened to the cup itself, but the lid broke, so I had to replace it, and now it's replaced, so it's, it looks brand new. And I just love the fact that, like, if you put cold water in it and you put ice, it stays cold. And if you put hot water um, or anything hot, it stays hot, okay? And basically, this is all you need. Like, you don't need any other cup. It does its job. And you can also take it with you. You can take it in your car, at work, at school, wherever you go. Um, and it stays that way, okay? So, I, I love this cup. Like, seriously. Like, this is the only cup that I use um, since I got it. Um, so I'm going to put this away. Um, this is where I put my tea and this is, uh, where I drink it from. I'm going to put it away and water too. <laughs> so you're able to see that. Yeah, this is my green tea kettle. Yeah, it's green. I used to have another one. It was like light green, but like it became really rusty, the inside, and I replaced it with this. So this is new. And this is my mug. I love this mug. Like, I normally drink it, like, full. This holds about um, half a liter, so it's huge. <clears throat> and um, this kettle is able to hold one liter. So this is, like, how many ounces is it? Like, yeah, 32. One liter is 30. 32 ounces so I'm able to drink this whole thing in one day so not only do I get my green tea but I also get the water so I love this and let me show you you know what hang on hang on let me show you the actual green tea that I use right now I'm using right now so this is <laughs> you some of you probably don't even know like what the heck is that okay I'll tell you what it is so this is a green tea container this is what you're supposed to hold your loose green tea leaves to keep them fresh. Um, this is something that I kind of like found out on my own. I didn't know this stuff until like recently. Yeah, so if you open this, which I'm doing now, so there's like, see how like there's a lid, it's closed, and then if you open that, which I'm gonna do right now. You see how like the tea leaves are loose and there's a scoop on the side? Yeah, that's what I use. And the tea leaves that you see in that container are from Japan. Yes, they are real green tea leaves. And this one right now that I'm using, I just um, replaced this whole container um, a few days ago because I ran out of the essential leaves that I use. So I go between Sencha green tea and this one this one is called let me show you again this one is called gyokoro green tea from japan so i ordered this from japan 
So it is Japanese green tea from Japan, from the tea leaves. And this kind of tea from Japan, which is like done right, tastes so much better than the bad green tea that you find in the stores, okay? Like it, it tastes so much better. And if it tastes bitter in this bag, that means that you steeped it too long. So there's like a method to this which I found, and this is why, this is, yeah, this is why it's in the container, it's green, this one's in the kettle. And I even got, um, let me close this real quick. I even got a tea kettle, and it has a setting for green tea, because this kind of tea, you don't want, you don't want boiling water. You want cooler water. So if you press green tea on your kettle, it's perfect for this kind of tea. So that's what I do. I just press green tea and it's like right before, just before it boils, it's done. So you don't want hot boiling water on this kind of tea because it's going to ruin it and it's going to taste bitter. It's not supposed to be bitter. Okay. And this thing is green, like green. Like when they say green tea, it's green. Okay. It's not yellow. It's not brown. It's green. Um, and you saw like the leaves are green. They're supposed to look, they're supposed to be green. They're supposed to look green and they come out green. Okay. So yeah, this is a container. I put this in. This lasts about, uh, I put in two, uh, bags. So this is about seven ounces. Um, but it may seem like that's it, but this is, oh my God. Like you get, you pay more but you get more in terms of quality, excuse me. Because what I do is that I only have, I only get two scoops and then I brew it in my kettle for green tea. It takes about two minutes and then I steep it in this container, in this kettle uh, for about two minutes, let me put this away for two minutes, I time it. I always time it because if you don't time it, you're gonna mess it up, okay? Two minutes. And then once the two minutes is up, um, I pour it. So I'm gonna show you basically what it looks like. Um, this is the lid. And this is basically what this tea looks like. This is the second brew, okay? Like, I only brew this once. So I put the hot water once i steep it for two minutes time it and after that i just put cold water and then let it sit there for like the whole day so this is the second time i've used this so notice how like i'm basically reusing the same leaves so keep it in this strainer you'll i'll show you this is what the strainer looks like see oh my god okay let me put it back because the water's coming out yeah, so I basically reused this and I've already reused it uh, once and I have two more times that I can reuse the same strainer, the same tea, the same thing that I used two days ago. It's the same thing that I'm going to be using two days from now. So <clears throat> um, today is Wednesday. So tomorrow I'm going to dump this and I'm going to use a new um, scoop, two new scoops, and I'm gonna brew it, go through the process, and then once it's brewed, it's timed, I pour it, and then I reuse it three more times. So when you add things up, I only brew this kind of tea twice a week. So Mondays, I brew it, and then I reuse it twice, Tuesday and Wednesday. Then on Thursday, I brew it again, brand new scoop, go through the same process, and then I reuse the same tea in the same kettle in the same strainer with cold water three more times until Sunday, and I go through the whole process again. So do you see how like it's very cost effective? If you think about it, it's very cost effective and that's why I'm doing it because it's very cost effective. So anyways, I'm going to show you, um, this is already brewed. Okay. 
and I've already uh, drank half of this kettle. So I'll show you what it looks like. The second, this is the second brew with cold water. Let me pour it out for you so you can see. All right, so here's my cup and I'm gonna pour it out right now so you can see. Oh my God, that's perfect. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. This is the second time I've used the same tea. I brewed it yesterday and I filled it up with cold water and let it sit there. And I'm reusing it this morning. And look how green it is. Let me put this away. Look how green it is. It's still green. And this is the second time I've used the same tea. And then I'm going to use it again one more time. And let's go, I'm going to go through the same process and brew it one more time and reuse it three more times. Okay. Yeah. So let me put this away. Let me actually put it away. So it's gone. And let me leave this here so you can see. Anyways. Yeah. So that is green tea from Japan. Gyokoro. And I buy it about um, every six months. Um, it cost me like, how much was it? Like $27. I know it's a lot. And the shipping from Japan is like 10 bucks. So I spent like about um, 50 bucks. But I buy this like every six months. So you basically spend like 100 bucks a year on this stuff. And this kind of tea has like 500 more times more nutrients and, you know, more benefits than Chinese green tea, okay? So in the end, oh my gosh, this is like, this is it. This is the real green tea. If you're not drinking green tea from Japan, you're not drinking real green tea, okay? <laughs> Anyways, let me take a sip. Oh my God, it tastes really good. No bitterness, healthy. I mean, and this is supposed to be calming. Green tea is supposed to be calming. Well, at least the real green tea from Japan. This is calming. And maybe that's why I'm calm, I don't know. Yeah, I drink this every day. Um, anyways, I'm gonna leave it here. So I'm gonna um, keep talking. Yeah, that's basically the process. Um, and let me tell you a little bit, about, a little bit about, about myself. I can't even talk. Oh my god, a little bit about myself. So, yes, it's me. I've been doing readings. Um, I do this channel, and it's really to help those who are on a spiritual journey, like. You know, I do tarot and some people are like, no, it's evil. I'm like, no, <laughs> it's like, it's tarot is a tool. It's not evil. If you're an evil person and you use evil energy, then tarot becomes evil. So basically it's because of you, but like me, I'm a good person. Um, it's protected. God's with me. The angel is with me. I don't really want to know the future. I just want a glimpse of what's going to happen. But because people have free will and people have choices. So just because I see something, the energy, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen because that person has free will. So it may be their energy, like they may want to do this, they may want to do that, they may be thinking about this, they may be thinking that. So they could think about doing the right thing and they could want to do it, but their actions might be different. They might not say this, they might not say that, they might not do this, they might not do that. So do you see how like sometimes you can have a reading that you want to hear? And it's true because that's actually what they want to do. That's what they're thinking about. But notice how like sometimes it doesn't come out the way it's supposed to come out. 
sometimes the opposite happens. So you're like thinking, okay, this person's gonna call, this person's gonna say this, this person's gonna say that, but it doesn't happen. So it makes the reader look like they're lying or they just tell you what you wanna hear. And from my understanding, because I've been through this, okay? It basically means that that reader could pick up that person's energy and their thoughts and what they want to do. But ultimately, that person that they're doing a reading on, they might not go through with it because they choose not to. So do you see how like there's free will and then there's the right things to do? And then there's the choice. So they may be thinking about doing the right thing or saying the right thing, but they choose not to. And that's why the thing happens. So do you see how like, just because somebody predicts something's gonna happen, well, it doesn't mean it's gonna come true because that person could choose not to do that or choose not to say that. And that's why it's not coming true. So I hope that makes sense. Anyways, um, yeah, so I mentioned this before and I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah, I, I'm i still married, um, but I filed for divorce in April, so a few months ago. So right now, um, I'm waiting for that to be finalized. So it could take a few more months, it could take a year. Um, I've never experienced this. I've never been through this process. So I don't really know what's gonna happen like i've been married and i went through the whole process so i know what the process is to like get married and you know sign the uh, marriage certificate and all that have it stamped all that official so i changed my name everything spent my life with this person live with this person all that okay but then it didn't work out so i was like okay it's time to move on and I gave, I gave uh, three years to try to work things out. Yeah, so three years, the whole three years, like three years ago, that's when I knew like, yeah, it seems like it's not gonna work out. But I gave myself and that person three years to try to work things out, to try to like make it work. And then I realized in April, like, it's not going to work. It's not going to, it's not going to happen. So when I finally accepted the truth that like, yeah, it's, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. Um, it's over. And if I'm not supposed to be with him, then I'm supposed to be with someone else. Okay. So that was, that was it. So I accepted that my marriage was over and that I had to file for divorce. And that happened because I'm not supposed to be with him. I'm supposed to be with someone else. Okay, that's how I saw it. So yeah, I'm just waiting for it to be finalized. So yeah, I filed and everything. And um, I know some people are like, well, you just filed for divorce, you're single. No, 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 I'm still married. And until I get that confirmation until this thing is finalized, until my last name changes, I'm still married. Like legally, I'm still married. So yeah, basically like, I'm not gonna be doing any of that dumb stuff. Like that's how I see it, it's just dumb. Like dating someone when you're married? Um, no, it's just dumb, like for real. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to wait until this is over. So I'm going to wait until this thing is finalized. I'm going to wait until I change my last name, my ID, and I'm legally single. So I'm going to wait until I'm legally single. Some people don't. And I'm just like, okay, no. <laughs> you know the saying? Some of you have heard of it. If they cheat with you, they will cheat on you. And I'm not, no, no, I don't wanna do that because I don't want that to happen to me. So I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna do the right thing, do things right, and wait until I am legally single 
to start dating, okay? Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you this real quick. So this is my Moonstone ring. You've probably seen it before. This is my right hand ring. This is my ring. It's a... Uh, it's huge. It's like 15 carats. <laughs> yeah, this is always with me. This is my right hand. And it's in yellow gold. I, I just love this ring. I love the design. I worked with um, a jeweler. And he made this ring possible. Like, it went from uh, a, an idea of mine to an idea of his and he created this he made this into reality it's beautiful like this is never gonna come off ever <laughs> this is my ring um on this hand my left hand sorry about that it's water yeah so this is my left hand okay so you've probably seen this ring like I used to have Notice the word used to. I used to have an engagement ring and I used to have a wedding ring on this finger. I don't anymore. So some people may see this and go, oh, she must be married. Well, I'm not. <laughs> so let me explain to you um, why I'm wearing this. So see this ring right here? See, there's just two stones. Those two stones are diamonds, okay? So this is a white diamond, it's pear shaped. And this is a green diamond. It's also pear shaped. They're together. And this is, this is, okay. The same guy that created this ring is the same guy that created this ring. Same design, everything. And um, yeah, it's basically, it's called, it's a French word for it. It's called um, moi et toi. Yeah, basically mean you. Me and you ring. It's 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 basically a me and you ring in English. Um, this used to be popular, but it's not anymore. But the way you see it is like, yeah, it's two people. They're together, but there's space in between them. And then together they make a whole. That's how I see it. Like this is me, <laughs> the white diamond. And this is whoever this person is. I don't know who he is, but until I find this person, I think I found him, I think. And until this person becomes my new husband, <laughs> I mean, this is gonna stay on my finger because it's both of us combined. And you'll see like this wedding band, it's because they're married. So yeah, this is really to honor both of them. Both of them, they're together. Um, my higher self and his higher self are together right now and they're married they're made for each other and this is why I'm wearing this to honor both of them and yeah I'm not gonna settle until I meet this person and when I do that person wants to be with me and it's gonna work out okay so yes I already have an engagement ring it's just that <laughs> I know it's backwards, but I feel like I have all this. It's just that I haven't met that person yet. And I feel like, yes, I. that's what, that's what I'm doing. Like, I already have the rings. It's just that I haven't met that person yet, okay? So that's what's going on. So I'm going to wear this because it, it reminds me that, yes, they're together. They're married. And... Don't settle for less. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not settling for less. Okay. Anyways. Um, yeah, that's what I thought I would tell you. This is my first video. Um, and I don't know what's going to happen at this point. But I'm going to go ahead and end this right now. Um, because I don't know what else to say. Other than... Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for following my channel. And if you are on a spiritual journey, you're not alone. I'm with you. I'm also going through the same thing. Um, this channel is, is meant to help those who need help, who need support, who need guidance, who want to connect, who want someone to understand. Okay? I get it. So... If you want to reach out, just reach out. 
and I'm here, okay? I'm here for you. Um, that's what I'm here for. So anyways, um, until the next video, um, have a great rest of your day. Um, please continue to be guided. Please continue to be protected. And whatever happens, you're not alone, okay? And um, whatever happens, you are loved and you're protected, all right? So um, I hope this helped you in some way. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share, comment, or subscribe. And I will talk to you soon.